What is up, bros? With Josh here. In today's video, we're going over the currently work in progress, newly named Shikishima, the Tier 10 IJAN battleship. And this ship has gone through some buffs since last time. So let's briefly go over what has changed. Also, throughout this video, we will talk about what this ship will be purchased as. As we all know, it is purchased as steel. That's what it was announced for a long time ago. Again, it is still work in progress. These stats could change. We do not know a price yet, but we still know that it is steel. So that is something I will weigh throughout this quick game. Then you will kind of see as I hear or as I go over this uh, ship and the game right here. So the updates that have hit this ship and a lot actually since last video I, I had actually made on it was the reload boost got. And if you can see when I do fire how fast the reload is. So the reload got boosted by 8 seconds from 35 seconds down to 27. And if you take the reload module, you can actually get it down into the 23 seconds. That's pretty impressive for a battleship. Especially one with the shells that are this big, but just wait, it isn't quite as good as it sounds. Um, even though big shells, fast firing, it kind of sounds almost like the Republic, but I would gladly take the Republic over this ship any day of the week. Um, actually, the shell speed got a little bit faster too, 720 meters per second to 765. The original buff made it so it would get nerfed in the way of the uh, 19,400 damage per Citadel down to 17,000 that's since been reverted in the latest update or uh, the latest buff to this ship so it's basically buffs across this uh, everything and then the the shells are supposed to be near what the Yamato is or similar to the Yamato now um, as we all know the Yamato has three by three this has three by two and if that is considered Yamato dispersion well give me the Yamato and that's going to be kind of the pattern of this game you're going to see and normally when I make videos about these work in progress ships I like to kind of show what this ship is capable of um, in the original video I did on this ship you kind of saw some angles that were kind of interesting and saying hey this is what would have a Yamato would have been better hey this is when this ship maybe shines this is a purely honest truth video about the weaknesses of this ship and that is just kind of the um, you know what I think about this ship currently and that it is just overall a completely waste of, like a complete waste of time and a worse Yamato um, as we know there is another ship that is tier 10 and it is a battleship that is steel and that is the Borgonia and we know that the Borgonia is 30,000 steel we do not know the price of the Shikishima but we do know that that steel prices coal prices tend to be um, kind of based on tonnage of the ship and tier of the ship so my guess is it would probably be 30k plus um, I don't know how much higher but definitely as the prices of ships steel ships specifically t continue to go up as we've seen that and this is going to be pretty much the biggest um, tier 10 battleship we could potentially see something up to 35,000 I don't know I assume we will see something a little bit higher than the Borg maybe not too crazy but I want you to kind of see the salvos that we've taken throughout this now I do uh, miss a couple on these Don's going a little bit high but we do have a nice broadside Kremlin right here literally sitting broadside as you can see on the mini map right here and this is exactly the weakness of this ship um, this is not Yamato dispersion to me if that is Yamato dispersion give me my Yamato let me get the legendary mod on it because broadside Kremlin right under the guns we had two non pens and a ricochet that is going to be what happens or what I noticed when I was playing this ship completely underwhelmed um, normally in this game and this is a perfect example bigger when it comes to battleships bigger and less quantity tends to not be the best um, imagine how much damage I would have done to this Kremlin as well as that Donskoy as well as just having extra shells on several ships um, that I've been firing on even with the slower reload on that this it would have been a completely different game and you're going to see coming up here really the weakness of the ship now there is a you know a, a tin foil hat that potentially the dispersion is messed up on this that has not been at least acknowledged by wargaming i would i would almost hope that there is a bug with the dispersion right now because it would make a little bit more sense but you're going to see the weakness of what this ship is supposed to have as a strength um, and normally when it comes to this ship it's a uh, don't Square right here fairly armored cruiser um, we are nine ten kilometers away and there we go bigger is not better um, when it comes to this well there is a point I guess where when you get too big there is a downside to it um, and in ships too but there is kind of just 
it kind of lacks identity. And one of the things is, well, um, you know, and there's a perfect example of what this ship does right here. It was absolutely maddening. I literally played two games in this ship, had similar, um, similar experiences on multiple games. Um, well, in both games, and it was a ship that I was kind of just, okay, I'm good. I, I don't see the point in this ship. Um, it's it's fairly, I don't know, give me a Yamato over this. And you could say, well, there's other scenarios like the Georgia, which is the Tier 9 USN. There is the Ohio, which is a Tier 10 USN battleship. And they kind of have the same thing of like, well, they have bigger shells. And that's another perfect example of what the big shells do right there. Um, I thought it would be a nice salvo on, a, on an angled daunts because those shells are so big. And we got the... Uh, the worst potential outcome, which was on the using all the guns, four overpens and a ricochet, which is confusing to me. And here again, you will see sadness that is this ship going against the Kremlin. Now I'm obviously super broadside to him, and he's a Kremlin, lol. But this is just again the downside. I'm gonna put my shot right on him. He's fairly broadside to me still. But remember, 510 millimeter guns, super super big. We are seven kilometers away, and we hit two of our four. And again, just like that, throughout this entire game, he did more to me in one salvo than I did to him in three or four. And that's just how this ship felt to me. And it was completely underwhelming. I wish I could be more positive about this ship. Um, I always love when things bring something to the game. Um, but as I said with the Republic, or not with the Republic, with the Ohio and with the Georgia, they at least bring something. Um, they bring some speed. They bring secondaries. This just brings a worse Yamato. Um, these bigger sh shells aren't worth anything. And really, just stick with the Yamato. You'll have a better experience. So a pretty quick video. Overall, this ship as it is will completely not worth it at all. I hope I see some change to this ship or Wargaming changes some of this ship because as it is, it is... Mm, I don't know, one of the worst ships I've tested in a while. I just don't see the point in it. And really, I hope they maybe change this and bring something else to it. But a pretty quick video right here, guys. Just being brutally honest with you on my opinion of this. And that is the Tier 10, currently work in progress, uh, Shikishima. I keep wanting to say the old name. But that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.